And hundreds of people took part in a healing walk in Edmonston, New Brunswick today in honor of Chantelle Moore. The 26-year-old Indigenous woman was shot and killed by police during a wellness check just over a week ago. A relative addressed those who gathered and shared how Chantelle's six-year-old daughter, Gracie, is coping with her mother's loss. She said, I don't want to die like my mother. I hope that RCMP, that cop that killed our niece, our granddaughter, that he's listening. Chantal's family led the crowd through the streets in a silent walk. It was one of several taking place across the Maritimes. Participants carried anti-racism signs and called for justice. Quebec's Independent Police Investigation Agency is looking into this shooting. And the CBC's Gary Moore was actually at the walk in Fredericton. He says last night's police shooting of an Indigenous man was also on people's minds there. A large crowd of people came out to pay their respects for Chantelle Moore, the First Nation woman who was shot and killed by police in Edmonston during a wellness check just over a week ago. Speeches, prayers and traditional ceremonies were performed by members of the Indigenous community in Fredericton, more than 200 kilometres away from where Chantelle Moore was killed. But the event also paid tribute to Rodney Levi, a First Nation man who was shot and killed by a New Brunswick RCMP officer Friday night, making it two members of the Indigenous community killed by police in the province in just over a week. I think that the um, having two Indigenous people killed in Wabanaki territory within a span of eight days um, speaks to the fact that this is a, a crisis and it needs to be addressed as such. The speeches were emotional, but the large crowd remained calm, quiet, and paid attention to what was being said. People marched to the province's legislative assembly, where the crowd regrouped for a traditional water ceremony. The afternoon brought together a community in mourning and shock. I was hurt. I was hurt in my heart and in my mind and in my soul, my wife and I, and we talked with our sons, and, you know, it touched home. Saturday's event helped with the grieving process, but there are still a lot of unanswered questions about how two Indigenous people ended up dead at the hands of police. Gary Moore, CBC News, Fredericton. And there were two more healing walks in Nova Scotia today at a First Nation community near Sydney and also in downtown Halifax. Brooklyn Curry has more on the event in the Nova Scotia capital. About 400 people gathered outside Halifax City Hall this afternoon to take part in a healing walk in memory of Chantel Moore. City Hall had banners hung on it that said things like justice for Indigenous people and abolish the police. Many of those taking part in the walk were wearing gold or yellow. Organizers say Moore's favourite thing to say to her family and friends when she was leaving them was stay golden. They say this was a small way to honour her. It's uh, unbearable. It's unbearable that we have to continue to go through this repeatedly over and over again with no accountability and no transparency from those systems that are put in place to serve and protect us. The event was slated to start at 1 p.m., but traffic delays pushed the start time to about 2 p.m. The walk was finally underway at about 2.30. Pamphlets were being handed out with the names of eight Indigenous people who have been killed by RCMP and police in Canada since April. Missing from that list is Rodney Levi, an Indigenous man who was fatally shot by New Brunswick RCMP just last night. Organizers say waking up to that news this morning was unbearable. The walk was supposed to end at the Halifax waterfront with a water ceremony, but the people set to lead the ceremony knew Levi well. Organizers say the focus of those ceremonies is supposed to be the water, not feelings of grief or anger. So that was cancelled to give those who knew Levi room to grieve. The walk ended instead on Goddagen Street, just outside police headquarters. All we want is justice! All we want is justice! After wrapping up with a grieving song and some chants, organizers urged everyone to go home and continue to stand up for Indigenous rights, whether there's a rally happening or not. Brooklyn Curry, CBC News, Halifax.